Welcome back to the Black Frog. Where they're hoping for uh, real cow stew. Uh, and people were looking for me. So I was wanting to head down here to the servants' quarters and dining rooms. The other main place I don't know I've been is I don't know I've been down this way. Don't know if I've been in these rooms. I mean, I've been in some of these rooms, right? The tunnel to entry looks super important. And I want to get there as well. So, since we're just here, we'll try and head to the servants' quarters and dining room first. <clears throat> green shirt still yelling. What am I going to do with you, green shirt? Don't have enough water to waste on this damn torch. It'd be nice to have a nice dark corner to sit in, but. Well, this guard is not bothered. He's calmed down. Shirt. <gasps> Who's that there? This is your last chance. Step <laughs> oh, God, let's get the dog alerted and everything. Dear, 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 dear. Lucky me, the dogs can't smell. Okay, we're near the dining room. Green check guy, like I wasn't sure. Maybe the other guy was wearing grey trousers. Yeah, the other I can hear the other guy yelling out there. This is two different green shirts. Okay, I've slightly unfairly maligned them. They're both annoying, but they're not both. It's not one green shirt guy has been responsible for 99% of my troubles. Well, maybe I shouldn't murder him. Horribly, maybe. I still think he deserves it. Also, I'm kind of stuck here. Can't crouch. Oh, there we go. Okay. Just could have made it for a noisy drop onto the floor. Okay, so there's someone in the dining room, and there's another guy just walking that way. Maybe I have been in there already. This layout's ringing a vague bell, but. So what hour was spent on a useful dark corner. Maybe I have been here? No. It's a sword. Okay, well that was that was worth coming to. Okay, I haven't been to the seventh quarters. So we'll have a look at these rooms out here in just a minute. Oh, 
I'm going to have servants have the good wine. They probably were not supposed to have that. I mean, good on them for uh, nabbing it and leaving it for me. And they were gambling, okay. Alright, Mark, that is done then. So we want to head north to the sitting room. North, unfortunately, takes us past basically everybody. Or across the yard, which is even worse. Let's just get a billion footsteps now. You never see the two green shirts in the same room together, what well, I just did. They're definitely two different people. What's, what's that on the windowsill? Oh, that's uh, a bottle on the windowsill out in the yard there. Or whatever room that is. It's not the yard, that's the kitchen. Oh, that's where this is the, the busier area. Everyone likes to go through the kitchen. It's warm and cosy. <laughs> I think avoiding that central hall is actually probably good. The long way around is going to be a lot safer. I can even try the upstairs. Hmm. I'll take us to the prayers room. Green shirt, his mates. Oh wow, both green shirts, yeah. They are different. One's got white pants, one's got grey pants. Maybe there's even more than two, I don't know. So, right, sitting room and just the east door is all I need to get to. Busy there though. <coughs> oh, the air is getting so filthy lately. Although, obviously, there's uh, still a couple of rooms I haven't been into, right? Is that lady there? She's gonna be a real pain to get past, isn't she? You know what? <laughs> Who's making all that noise? I don't think he's going to come in here and see me, but if he does, at least got somewhere I can put him. I'll leave it. Okay, I need to go north. 
And then I'll get down in the sitting room, I suppose. here as well. That's both my repair issue stuff. I'm not super keen about that concept. But it's probably fine. I don't have another use that I know of for them. I can definitely recover one or the other if I really need to. Could recover the other one just now. On my way up it might be a little more. I had a little more presence of mind. Let's try and do this quietly. Let's try to grab the rope this time. Yeah, right. Ah, <laughs> oh, underground machinery, do not enter. rooms. But is that the key? Oops. I didn't have this key last time I was here. So maybe that's the key to those tunnels. <sighs> Let's do the rope better this time and he fumbles it again. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble getting into these ropes, but I guess it means my uh, food supplies are going to be useful. Oh, I shouldn't be eating the cheese. There might be rats that need that. Wow, really bad luck on the food RNG there. Two apples left out of what, eight, like 15 things without a single hit point. He's not going to search, he's just patrols in here? Wow, oh, I had no idea. Okay, that's. I guess I got lucky last time I was here. this door open? Was this key open then? Didn't seem to maybe it's Gary Baldi's room? I didn't think so, I thought I had it. Maybe it's that? No, I tried it there, so... One more hour left. I need to keep that for if I really, really need it. Did I try it at the priest's store here? No, but why would it work? Why would I expect it to work? Oh, it's not even a probable door. That's really weird. Apartment of the second priest. Why is that not probable, you know? Unless there's a secret doorway in there, which maybe I should look. Or such as... I mean, it could be, but it's not really room for this to slide aside, is there? Seems unlikely, but it's very weird that the door doesn't even prop. Like, how does the second priest even get in there? I think a switch down here somewhere? No, anyway, this isn't where I want it to be. I wanted to go to the front gate and try that other door. To get up somewhere up there with a rope arrow now, actually. No. Rope arrow does me doing good in this temple. It's all stone. I can't climb the tree. I 
Oh, he's at the library when I'm upstairs. Okay, that's fine. Frog three times in a row. What's wrong with you, Garrett? There we are. Let's eat those last two apples and hope, shall we? Nothing. Oh, there's all my food gone. Ugh. Right, where am I going? If, if I'm going to try that key, so, so Priest Temple, we've got. That's closed, right? There seems to be nothing here that I could find. This is locked with a key. We've got one, two, three, four. I have to go back up to get all this room. Right. At some point. Let's go to the great room. We can go down the uh, rook of the great room, hopefully. Uh, there might be stuff on these rafters too, but it's going to be hard to tell, isn't it? I mean, I could stick a rope in and have a look. That's relatively uncontroversial, I think. I don't like the looks of this. It's just a rope, man. Fucking terrible. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. This guy's oblivious, or deaf, or both. Okay. Oh wow, everybody's... Everybody's there. Whole gang. is too far away because I can't actually stand on that uh, uh, railing. I can only crouch on it, so... Nope, not that one. <coughs> well, this guy didn't have a key, right? I should double check. Maybe? <laughs> Definitely not. Why are there so many keys and why are they all missing? And <clears throat> that's all frustrating. Very stingy with water and very generous with moss. Someone there. Hey. Oh, the air is getting so soaky. <sighs> it's just him getting annoyed again, that's fine. Okay, get out of all this room. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of this room. I'm gonna be on the other side. Okay, fine. It's fine. There's nothing there, man. Nothing there for you. Upstairs is so much safer than downstairs. Uh, 
Um, is the library any good to me? No, the library would, uh, the sitting room would take, still need to cross the busy area here. No, oh, I want to be upstairs anyway. Yeah. Go to the Garibaldi room. Ah, okay. So, hang on. Right, that's what you see. There isn't any connection here, right? That's that's just blocked off. Kind of looks like it is. So I go out the window and across the ledge. That's fine. I can do that. saw me. Kind of to be expected. Doesn't really matter. Did I get one here? Don't remember. It's the top of my head. Yes, I did. What's that tower and how do you get to that one? Northeast of the garden. We've been oh we've been to the upper floor of that, that's right, yeah. yeah. We're gonna get seen by the dog again. Just ignore it. Okay, so I head south and west. Oh, I got a sword down. Oh, and there's that door with the boards. The door with the boards. Where was the door with the boards? <laughs> what are you doing in here? At least you're noisy and give plenty of warning. I don't know where I just found that door with the boards twice. Uh, well, that was down in the servants' room. Down, sorry, down in the, the guards' quarters. Down here. Okay. That's a place I can go and make noise. It's not far from the Gary Valley room. We can drop down in the prayers' room to, the, to this area and then get across there. Okay. We'll try that. Maybe the key I've got was actually the key for that door, I don't know. That's possible. I don't remember the order that I got the key and the map and things, but... Okay. The dog has decided to stop sniffing around. I think it's my moment to go for it. You... you stay away from me! Help! He's right here! Help! It wasn't my moment. Nope. Oh god, there's no there's no there's no wood. Who needs wood? So it's a guard patrols in here. Dog sniffing around upstairs.
Oh, this is not where I wanted to be. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Guess we can close that door. Someday I'm not going to be a guard anymore. No, there's no door there. I'm going to be a man of war. And I'm going to hire lots of guards to make them go on patrol. I wonder if this will block any noise. Is this... I mean, it seems just like a thin fabric curtain, but I guess we can judge how much noise it blocks. Pretty much everything, okay. Can't do the snoring anymore. Hmm, not everything, but most of everything. Didn't even wake him up, okay. Fix the mouse sensitivity issue. Basil, oh. Garrett has escaped. He must not breach the Black Frog. Find that man and destroy him. Leave a message in my house. I want to know all the details. The objectives. Steal Emily's apartment key that Basil is wearing on his belt. Do not kill Basil, and do not think to knock him out. Stay unseen. Hmm. If Basil can access Emily's apartments, he must have a key. I have to steal it from him unseen. Thank you, Garrett. Okay. Well, we have we have a way forward now. I didn't think it would be the sword making it possible, but is what happens. It's surprising the way things sometimes work out. Where is Basil going to be? I have no idea. So we're going to have to wander around until we find him in a place where we can pickpocket him. Well, we know where his room is, right? The room is upstairs. So we can get. Oh, I was gonna say we can get up through the press room. We can't get up through the press room. Dang. How do we, what's the best way upstairs then? I mean, the stairs are right here. Yeah, not good though. There's also stairs here. West and a little north. <clears throat> We can rope up in that great hall as well, if we don't want to take the stairs. More footsteps. <clears throat> Let's close that door so we get a little less. Complicating echoes. Okay, Basil's room is on this side of this room, isn't it? Yes. See the beams because of the damn plant. I think that's a bad placement. Might still work. Well, maybe we don't need to go to this room. Guess we'll leave the rope there. So we need to get back out to the courtyard, which we can do back this way. Oh. Maybe I should be looking for a switch in here. Uh, 
that does not break. It's got to be meaningful, right? Hmm. I mean, maybe we can just break it open. Should be cheap. No, definitely not. Oh, hello? Uh huh. Oh, how did I not see that? It's highly obvious. Water arrows, healing potion. Oh, well, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful find. I guess it's not very visible, but yeah, it's got quite close to our range. Uh, it's not too invisible. Part of the problem is the high def pack uh, model, which I'm just not super good at recognizing. Blends in better with the wood. Okay, where am I going? East. Okay, let's go for it. sleeper. Are they going to see me too? Don't know if they can see through the curtains. No, they're not looking. They're not looking this way. That's okay. Sorry, man, but the banner had to die. It's for the good of everyone. That's the doors I need to go in at. Those are the ones that he just came in. Green shirt. Oh, there's another guard as well, okay. Wait, that's the garden. That's where the dog is. Oh, that's not the garden. What the f where the fuck am I? the garden door then? Oh, that's the way to the kitchen. The garden door must be just to the east then. Just the dining room. Wait a minute. Oh, there isn't a door to the garden from down here. All right, back to the great room it is, and and rope up.
and I'm not still there. I don't know where this guy's gonna go, so I'm not gonna wait. Oh, he's leaving. Let's, let's go, let's just run for it. Oh, that's the armory. Okay. Right. Let's get to the garden. I'm so glad I have a map. I still get lost. Alright. Um, yeah, go around and into... Not, not into his face. Let's try to avoid going into his face. The old school leans to the door and listens to his footsteps. Made far less effective by the fact that there's multiple sets of footsteps overlapping. Well, he didn't come this far. Okay. We have so much moss, I can definitely afford to waste one on that. <laughs> ah, didn't spread out. Wait a minute. Oh, no, this is Emily. This is Emily Victor's. Emily's house key, right. Whereas, uh, what I was thinking was a Black Rock Tower, but that's in the priest's area. Feels like finally I'm making progress. Basil, go and run away. He's clever. He must not take any risks. I'm sure that he guessed that the glyph in the tower was a decoy and that the real black frog was elsewhere. I moved the mirror room key to a safer place here in my apartment. Basil, if Garrett was to reach the mirror room, the glyph would be his. If you find Garrett, kill him. Emily. Glyph in the tower is a decoy? I had no idea. Thank you for telling me. Or are you double bluffing? There doesn't seem to be any guards in here. That doesn't mean it's safe. Let's check that out later. That looks like it's more significant than whatever's upstairs. Upstairs feels like maybe we're just going to find a bedroom. A sitting room. I recognize that painting. Milady, Sir Belmont's guard is abridging. Garrett has deactivated the tower that was sealing the door of the fortress. We're too vulnerable now. I know that you sent some men to reactivate the tower, but I doubt that they will succeed. Belmont is powerful and cunning. I fear that his guards have already prevented our men from doing their task. Well, uh, you know, some good news about that. Most of Sir Belmont's guards are dead in horrible ways. There is something else. From a distance, one of our servants saw someone he did not recognize. Is this one of Belmont's men? He tried to call him, but he vanished like a shadow. Your guest, Garrett, is still unconscious, so it's not him. I advise the first priest to hide him. Be careful. He holds the key to keep the, keeping the object of our devotion, and I do not want that key to be captured by Belmont's men if they make it all the way up here. Yours truly, second priest of the Order of the Black Frog. Okay, so the first priest is hiding. Let me just pick the lock to save. Another flash bomb. Gary Voldy's report. Milady, we bring the latest changes to the protection system for the glyph. The result of my work is more than satisfactory and we are moving quickly. In a few days, the Black Frog will be inaccessible to any intruder with bad intentions. It will be well sheltered in its tower. As I have indicated before, the only way to concentrate the maximum telluric power is to use a crystal, and not just any type of crystal. 
It needs to be a pure, pristine crystal. However, my lab experiments have shown that this method has its Achilles heel. Use a crystal that is even slightly damaged and it's a disaster. The whole system will explode. Please forgive me, but I was unable to make a perfect risk-free system. The crystals have a limited lifespan. They must be replaced every two years. I have delivered a reserve that should allow you to keep the system in optimum condition for many years. These crystals come from the cobalt quarries. They are of the highest quality. I will write a note to your technician to explain the procedure to change the crystal. Most importantly, tell him not to use the red crystal which is in my room. It contains impurities and its use on the system would create a catastrophe leading to the annihilation of the glyph. I say again, under no circumstances should that red crystal be used. I hid it in my room until I have time to destroy it. It was one of the crystals that I used for my first tests. When the system is operational, I will give you a demonstration, Sir Gary Crowley. Well, you know, I get the Black Frog, but now we have a way to destroy the Black Frog. Is that better? Doesn't sound like that will get me more, any more loot. Um, but, hello. <laughs> That's very cute. Scarecrow doll. <laughs> The reskin recolor of the stock scarecrow model and shrunk to doll size. I like that. I was born on a winter day. It was snowing. On my birthday, you gave me a doll the color of a summer sky. But you did not know then that my destiny was engraved on my forehead in the form of a strange sign. A destiny that I never really understood until the day I found the sixth glyph, the one that brings trouble and distress. I'm like this glyph. Did you realize that you had created a monster? Was that the reason why you left us, mother and I? But since then I've grown up and have learned much. I've come to know where my duty lies, to stand between ignorance and the brutal persecution of men. We have long fled, mother and I, from house to house, where mother painfully earned enough to feed us and accommodate us by serving humiliating and narcissistic low-class nobles. But we also always had to keep moving again and again, till the day when they killed my mother because she was the witch who had given birth to a demon. Later I learned to recognize those who accepted my birth. My place is now here in this fortress, near the sixth cliff of which I was truly born. It called me from beyond the seas, and I came. I could not do otherwise. Its destiny is my destiny. I still don't know, do not know why this is so. For now, I am resigned to bear the symbiosis without saying a word, whatever the pain it brings me. I don't want to lose face in front of my people, priests and soldiers of the Order of the Black Frog. Yes, that is the name we give to this cliff, simply because it vaguely looks like a pictorial frog. I must not let my doubts show. I would betray the faith that these people have in me and I would have to leave once more, like I have for most of my life. I do not want this anymore. My life is close to that artifact, even though it is evil. It is a part of me, and I am a part of it. Why fight this? The doll you gave me is on the bed. It seems to be watching me as I write these lines. I think that I recognise your glance. I look full of kindness and forgiveness. Forgiveness for all the horror that I am able to generate. Forgiveness for all those lives trapped in the terrible world of the frog. Benevolence also for my heart, bruised by all those unnecessary sacrifices. All this is a heavy burden, but that is the price of my place here. However, this weight is bearable with the presence of Basil by my side. Basil is my confidant. He is the brother I never had. He does not need to speak to show his empathy to me. People of the Order say that Basil is stupid and they do not understand my attachment to this man. But how can we judge someone by his silence? The glyph is constantly threatened. First the Keepers, then Belmont, that cowardly and sinister aristocrat. They all want to have the power. Belmont wants to raise armies from the world of the Black Frog. What is he thinking? He would never be able to control the hellish power of that thing, regardless of how dark or how strong his mind was. I alone can grant that entity a passage to let its offspring into the real world. I alone can transform fantasy into reality. The Black Frog is a reflection of our tormented souls and sometimes their savage anger. My duty is to always watch over this primitive brute force, protecting our darkest feelings. But what would happen if anyone other than me had this power? Would they use it wisely? Would they be wise and prudent enough to bury this horror in the depths of oblivion? I know that the answer is no. I must admit that there is another thing that adds to my fear. Owning the glyph would also mean owning me. If they were to destroy the glyph, I would fade away along with that energy that I am so intimately linked to. The glyph and I are one. Oh, Father, I am afraid sometimes. What can I do before the madness of mankind? I feel so lonely. And this doll which is always looking at me? Unfortunately, I'm too old now to have it share my pain. Hmm. So my mouse is out. Whoops. Noisy than I intended. Hello. What 
What's, what's this window? <laughs> Just, just a window. Let's close the safe again. <laughs> so destroying the glyph would destroy Emily. Anything else in here that looks like a clue? Don't know. Don't know. We get the glyph or we destroy it, that much is clear, and I think... I kind of suspect we're going to have to destroy it. Alright. Is that, is that, does that count as a banner? It's kind of more tapestry. Oh, it doesn't break. Is that because it's a secret? There's not really any room for a secret in there. Well, not much. Worth a quick look, I suppose. There's room for a secret behind this painting, I believe, but... Yeah, I can't see anything. I have no reason particularly to suspect one. But you never know where they might be hidden. Okay. What's down this? Does this lead us into the tunnels? Mirror room. I'm sure this key I've got is not for the mirror room, but I still wonder what it is for. Okay. What did we get out of coming here? Gary Belt's report. But we don't have the key to Gary Belt's room. So we can't get his red crystal and we don't know who has his key. And now what do I do? Now where do I go? I just don't have any... Uh... Oh, was that locked? Was that a locked door there, or was I trying to mark this door here? I thought. Oh, this is upper level. Why was I marking a locked door there? I have a key. If there is one there, I don't remember marking that. We can go back there, I suppose. Too far, it's just around the corner here. As long as the green shirt doesn't come out at an inconvenient time. Speak of the devil. The guard patrols in here, doesn't he? I'm clutching at straws in order to find a way forward there. I might if we get to the end of the episode without finding a way forward, I might just look for a hint. So <laughs> it's frustrating this design. So just a continual key hunt. Okay, well, let me see if I was not lying. I mean, I haven't been to an upper level here, right? 
Why did I mark a door here? I must have meant to mark some other door, surely. What we do know is the priest is hiding, right? Aha. That's not what the priest is hiding. Just some more fruit. Not even anything to explain this secret fruit room. Okay. Well, it's another secret. It's not progress, but it's, it's something. I suppose. Yeah, I don't know why I marked that door. Well, if the Blackfrog Tower is just a decoy, why do I need to bother with it? Why do I have these maintenance instructions and this crystal? Like, the crystal isn't going to destroy the real Blackfrog, it'll just destroy the, the uh, fake one, right? I looked here so many times, I don't think I've just anything to find. I didn't even notice you could see it. But again, I guess that's not the real one. If it is a decoy, then that's what the real one would look like, right? Although, it's possible that she left a letter about the... Like, this one does have the protective devices. And she said, oh, the real one's in the mirror room, which was... Barely locked at all, right? Just a, just a weak lockpick. So it might be that that whole letter was a plant to mislead us. And that that is actually the real one in the tower and the mirror room is a trap for me. Because Emily is clever. Looking for a place for a good screenshot, honestly. This tree gets in the way of getting the tower and everything. I mean, that could work. All right, it's a little early. But uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. And um, look for some kind of hint to guide me what to do next, because I, I no, I've got this key, I don't know what it opens. From the guard, maybe it's that door that we broke the boards down in, but if it's not, I have no idea. Apart from that, we've just got a lot of locked doors and no way of progressing past them. So I, I need some kind of hint as to what I've missed and where it is. Um, so uh, yeah, see you soon for the next episode.